We're backstage in Boston with Rafan, who just said, what, I can't wait to do that again? Yes, yeah, I can't wait to get back in there, man. I'm right, right now, man. I'm about to pull the Khabib, give me like an hour to rest, and I'm, I want to go back in there. You know? I mean, you just had this giant victory over Thomas Almeida. He's ranked number 10, you were ranked number 14. This is important for the bantamweight division. You got this opportunity against a guy who is the top 10. Yes, sir. How much emphasis did you put on your training to say, I need to make, not I need to not only get a victory, but make a clear statement to everyone else? You know, like I said, all my W's, I, I'm, I'm looking to finish. Um, all my wins are finishes. You know, um, like I said before, I had a little setback with the Munoz fight, but um, I'm just looking to get better every single time. But for this fight in particular, it was just keeping everything straight and staying focused. I just got to go out there. If I'm focused for 15 minutes straight, I'm dangerous and I'm putting everybody away. What did you learn from that Munoz fight? Just keep my hands up and stay <laughs> focused. You know, like I, you know, honestly, like it was. Uh, I was doing my thing. You know, it was going back and forth. I. Uh, he shot a takedown. I was like, okay, I think we got him. Let's slow down. And then mentally, I kind of took a mental break. I was backing up, hands down, and boom, got clipped. Before you know it, I'm looking like, where did he go? Next thing you know, he's on my neck, and it was a quick tap. But oh, I'm wobbling over here. But. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly, that was a great learning opportunity for you. You come out and do this to Thomas Almeida, guy's very respected in the division. Um, you took number 10 out. Where do you go from here? What ranking do you feel like you should get? What opponent do you feel like you should face? It, honestly, like I said, it doesn't matter. Uh, Sterling, let's do it. I know you want that fight, man. Like I said, I'm delivering more than peaches, man. You saw what I did. You know you know what's up, man. Let's work. Aljamain Sterling, that would be really fun. Um, before I let you go, I have to obviously ask you, what's it going to be like to celebrate here in Boston? It's going to be huge. It's going to be huge. You know, we get, we're popping bottles. You know, we got the Patriots pace, pace, I mean, pace tomorrow. It's, can't have, I got my family out here. It's, it's going to be huge. I can't wait. Excellent. Well, go get some Regina's pizza. Do something fun. Get we're your beers in. Have a great time, Rob. Time. <laughs>